Well, I was going through some fluorescent tubes, and I had about 25 of them to go through, and it turns out these 15, including one over there, did not work in the fixtures that I was using them in. And the rest of them, besides these, worked, so I, I kept them, but these ones here all didn't work. And how I considered them not to work was either they didn't light up at all, or they flickered a lot and they made a lot of buzzing noise. That was probably only about four of them out of these 15. But the rest of them didn't light up at all. So, I remember how Photonic Conduction said to use a flyback driver to test to see if they work. Well, I get different, way different results with the flyback driver than I do with putting them in the fixtures because the majority of them wouldn't light up at all in any fixtures. And yet, they do when I use it on a flyback driver, so I'm not sure why there's a difference in testing them and the results I get. I'll show you that it lighting up. So as I put the flyback driver on each individual light, it does light up, even though they wouldn't light up in a fixture. Alright, so here's another view. You can see how uh, a couple of them have a lot of... They're almost like really black on the ends of them. I think that's from the little filament that's inside of them. But I don't think any of those worked. Um, but as you can see, they always light up. Even if it's like that. Because I think this is just testing the, um, the gases inside of them. Not so much the little filament that I believe in here that, that's in here that ignites it. That could be the reason why well, they don't light it up. They still work when you use a flyback driver though. Of course, you know, it's not as bright as if it was in a fixture. Like the ones that's above me. And I've also got this one over here. I believe this one works too. Yeah, this is a more of a soft white color. But all these work here, but they don't work in fixtures, so... I guess that means that the gases are so good, but the filaments are bad. Right now, I have a uh, piece of steel running across very close to all the bulbs, or the ones that are lighting up. And I'm touching the fly back to that. It's not actually making physical contact with the bulbs, but it's very close. But if it does, it'll go. you can tell that one is making contact. And that one, a uh, different one is. Alright, now I've got a piece of metal running across all of them. I'll see if I can light everyone up at the same time. So, this one doesn't seem to light up very well, but the rest of them do. Let's try that the lights off. That looks pretty good. Doesn't provide a whole lot of light though. looks brighter in the camera than it really is. This one here doesn't line up quite as well as the others. I had a shot from a little further away. So that's it. This is a short video showing you that uh, lights can still work on a flyback driver, but they might not work in a fitting in the ceiling because uh, the filaments might be burned out.
but the gas is inside of the bulb may still be good. Now that's what I think is the reason why. Like one especially like this, how it's really black. I think the filament's gone, but the gas is inside are still good, so flow back driver is the best method of testing these.